Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today I'm going to address a common flaw in the interior of the C7 Corvettes. And instead of just replacing it with a stock OEM part that's going to go bad again within a few months maybe or a year, I decided to wait until I ran into the right uh, part or the right place that can custom make uh, and replace this piece. And this is the center console armrest lid. And the common problem is wherever you rest your elbow, if you do, um, you can warp the leather, the thin, cheap leather that they have on top of the rest. So I had one custom made. It's thicker, it's stronger, custom embroidery uh, with the matching stitching. Let's get this installed today. Good old GM. It is a love-hate relationship for me, and today we're going to address something that just uh, I can't let go any longer. The center console, you know, our body produces oils uh, through our arms and hands and transfers onto the surface of these vehicles, and a lot of times those materials just cannot put up with that type of wear and tear, even though it's light. So the only thing you're really going to need is a T15. Um, hex screw because they're flathead hex screws are supposed to be three of them underneath here at the hinge for the lid There's only two I can only guess why but we only need to remove those two and um, There is also a pin that snaps into uh, The armrest itself as well besides those three screws on the other end You'll see you can see the outline of the circle to the right of the screw That's where that pin is and it, jo it jets right up into the cushion of the armrest. So sure, you can absolutely order a used uh, stock part uh, for replacement anywhere from $58 to $115 I found on eBay. I do not recommend that. Um, you can get the aftermarket that w I will be installing today. You'll find that anywhere between $250 and $350 and then remember there can be a core charge where if you send uh, the stock part in where they could use the frame and repad it and add new leather you can get a hundred dollars back onto your card that is a huge jump in price everything on these vehicles is salty but to me it is well worth it you will be receiving an armrest with higher quality material and more of it sitting higher on the deck about 45 mils 10 to 12 mils higher and thicker and plusher than the original part To let you know what's going on with the stock part, there are about four layers, starting with the metal layer or the frame itself, and then 20 mils of thick foam. And then you have a backing right underneath the leather, and the oils will penetrate the pores of the leather and work its way into the spray adhesive holding these two layers together, break it down, and you have a separation, and then the leather starts to warp. One way you may be able to prevent the breakdown, wear and tear of the original part is to do what I'm doing here to this new aftermarket part, and that's to put a substantial coating on it. And before we do that, we have to prep it properly. And with that, I'm going to use Lithium's HyperCleanse. When you're satisfied, wipe it off with a microfiber, and I sprayed the microfiber. I didn't spray the, the leather itself, but I sprayed the microfiber with a mist of an IP solution that is diluted 12%. That way, there's no residue from the cleaner itself left behind on the protectant, and I normally do that with just about every material, whether it's plastic, leather, um, really anything that's going to be protected and I'm using a cleaner to prep first, I use a very, very light diluted IP solution uh, to make sure there's no residue. So we'll break out the Art to Shine plastic slash leather coating and we'll put a nice thick layer or two on top of the armrest to protect it.
I like to protect it before I install the part so I can get the leather that's wrapped up underneath the armrest into the frame and then I'll just let it cure. Two layers of the coating and then I'll grab a microfiber and just gently and lightly wipe off any high spots. These go on uh, glossy. They do cure to a natural feel and look, a nice matte look to it. And they kind of self-level, so you don't have to do that. It's just an extra step. I like to drag the microfiber across the surface to make sure there's no high spots. Installation is just as easy as removing the old part. The frame is the same. It's a stock frame. They just customize the padding and the leather, the stitching, and the embroidery. I will, however, either have to match up or order a new flathead T15 screw. In the meantime, two will hold it just fine. When I'm driving, I have the habit of keeping my arms tucked to the side because I don't like to rest my arms and elbows and hands and forearms on center consoles and armrests or even door panels. And now this interior is all set. I can feel better being in and around the interior. The center console armrest is also looking much better. It's softer and it's protected. All right, good friends, that's going to do it for today's short video. And even if this just helped one person out, I'm happy because it was absolutely driving me crazy. Every time I walked by the windows and looked in or entered the driver's seat, this is the first thing that caught my attention. It was driving me crazy. Uh, so instead of just replacing it with a stock OEM part that's going to do the same thing, uh, I'll put a link down below where you can get something custom made uh, to your vehicle. Um, to match your model. Mine's just a, a base Stingray and um, I wasn't going to make it something it isn't but you can get a Z06, ZR1 um, or anything else you may have in mind embroidered on here and get the stitching to match the color scheme of your interior. So I hope that helps. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.